night, guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful day here in the end times. Here on this glorious Monday, March 14th, 2022. This old man winter has blown back out and back in the bare feet. And uh, so anyway, as you probably know, I have been dealing with the police state all day with those uh, motherfuckers down there at the county building department fucking me out of about $10,000. So I'm just now here at, uh, good lord, what time is it? Four o'clock in the afternoon getting uh, around to going on the mainstream media on March 14, 2022 to for my weekly Corona Panic Roundup rant where I go in the pages of the mainstream media which up until strangely enough about three weeks ago the number one story on the planet being the Corona Panic but now I notice uh, for whatever reason uh, something to do with the Putin panic, I believe. Uh, the number one story on the planet has taken its rightful position as being barely mentioned as a story on the planet. Barely mentioned, which is exactly the, the amount of coverage that the mainstream media is giving the Corona panic is about the appropriate amount of attention that, uh, you, you know, the biggest distraction in the history of humanity uh, has been deserved, has been deserving. But anyway, so I managed to dig up two stories. Probably the, obviously, the biggest story on the planet uh, concerning uh, Corona panic is our old friend Farrakh Obama. Barack Obama has come down with Corona panic. This is CBS News. Barack Obama tests positive for COVID-19. Here is the entire story. CBS News this morning. Former President Barack Obama announced that he has tested positive for corona, corona panic. Obama said he is feeling fine other than a, quote, scratchy throat. There you go. We have about 20 versions of the story. Barack Obama has corona panic, says he is feeling fine, but has a scratchy throat. So uh, there you go. Barack Obama has a scratchy throat. And I guess we found so pretty close to that story. We have this one. Can't imagine why this would be. Uh, can't imagine this. Why the CEO of Pfizer Incorporated says a fourth booster shot is necessary. Yes, a fourth booster shot is necessary. Now, I guess for those of us who never got the first, anyway, I guess he's talking to people who have already had three corona panic shots. Can't make this up. I'm just, I'm just going to read this as it comes off. This is from The Hill on today's Yahoo News mainstream media. Pfizer CEO Albert Bourla said on Sunday that a fourth dose of the corona panic vaccine will be necessary, will be necessary to uh, keep the corona panic hospitalizations manageable. Yes and more mild, more mild. I, I absolutely love uh, the, the, the state of the King's English on the mainstream media. All right, quoting the man who wants to apparently 
be giving out now 8 billion times 4. Why would the CEO of a corporation want to sell another 8 billion of his products? Can't imagine. Anyway, take it away. Quote, right now, th this is a, a direct quote in this story. Right now, the way that we have seen it is necessary. A fourth, a fourth booster is what he's saying. A fourth booster right now. The protection that you are getting from the third, it is good enough. Actually, quite good for hospitalizations and deaths. It's not that good against infections, but does not last very long. Yes. We will see what the experts also will say outside Pfizer. Yes. Uh, so when can we expect the fourth uh, Face the Nation host Margaret Brennan asked Borla if he expects to be able to avoid the same confusion over booster shots that came about when the third vaccine dose was being deployed. Quote, I think so, and I think right now we need to be very well coordinated CDC, FDA, and the industry, meaning the big pharma industry. Right now, we need to be very well coordinated, the CDC, FDA, and the industry, so that we are all providing to the American people and to the world a co cohesive picture rather than confusion. Yes. And uh, I guess if they ever get this figured out, quote, then I think it is very easy to follow and remember so that we can go back to really the way we used to live. <laughs> Anyway, thank you, uh, Mr. Uh, Big Pharma drug peddler, trying to push another 8 billion doses of the uh, vaccine because we don't want to end up like Barack Obama feeling fine but with a scratchy throat. Anyway, uh, and I guess that's pretty much the Corona Panic Roundup for today. We will see if Corona Panic is even being mentioned one week from today. Bye, guys.